Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen, my name is Saika and we're playing this beautiful mod in Beta 1, Legendary Iron Man difficulty. Today we're going to hack a workstation. Uh, for those of you, just I like to start uh, with a bit of a summary as always. Uh, Technology-wise, we just had an important breakthrough. We got the uh, second half of mech weapons. So we got advanced uh, mech weapons, which includes snipers, uh, shotguns, and bigger guns. We spent quite some uh, supplies to make sure that we're upgraded. Second info, we have uh, mass-produced hazmat vests, which will now allow us to be immune to many of the uh, really unpleasant conditions, burning, uh, poison, as well as assets, so that's really good. Um, overall, uh, we are technology-wise doing fine. You can see we have uh, now six engineers as well, and I'm trying to free up some of the engineers <coughs> to to improve uh, the speed of our uh, proving ground projects because that'll give us um, advanced uh, toys to play around with, uh, and uh, that's something that uh, our group needs, uh, specifically the unique weapons and so on. Anyways, uh, that's generally where we stand. Today we're going to spend some time in uh, this mission here, Operation Dismal Tears. We're hacking a workstation and hopefully getting uh, the Intel package out of it. In our squad today, we're going to have uh, um, uh, Shinobi that is leading the charge. We got our Skirmisher Harbringer. Uh, that I'm very, ex uh, whom I'm very excited to use. We got a grenadier for cover removal, specialist for support, and a ranger for simple uh, DPS. I think that's going to be a good mission. So let's jump right into it, and we'll end it. Here we go. That is our team. One of the things that I noticed, by the way, with the long war uh, mod. The hero classes actually are heroes. If you just look at their average stat line, it's much higher. So I think for our final team, we definitely would want to have all three of uh, the unique classes um, included. They just have higher base stats and better abilities since uh, the abilities haven't been nerfed. So uh, they are pretty much the raw abilities out of uh, the game and most of the difficulty in Long War Done. comes from nerfed abilities. I have visual. Ooh, interesting. Good. We're using Oscar Mike to get into position. Pitbull is moving over here. Got our first pick over there. As you order. Harbring is moving over here. I'm even considering whether or not I want to engage them this turn. Oscar Mike is really a good ability if you take it out of the gates. Moving on target location. Look at that, we could almost kill her in a single go. If we were to directly engage on them, that'll save us some time. We'll get a second shot here. And I think we can take on the pack. So yeah, let's try that.
Of course, we're missing. But that's okay. We got a plan B. As per the usual. So this here should take away most of the cover. Or at least some. Good. It took away some cover. <coughs> Fair. Good. We can kill them right away. <coughs> Sorry. Um, what a nasty cough. Okay. We could still use him to flashbang both of them. Okay, good. So that's our backup plan. Um, the Viper needs to die first. What did you expect? That kind of goes without saying. The Advent Trooper needs to follow. Fortunately, we missed quite a few enemies. A quick strike. Whiplash missed as well. So, we're going to use the flashbang. Which essentially means we're all in half cover so that means we're now in full cover because uh, uh, with, uh, with their to hit Malus this here would be as if it would be full cover we could use our grappling hook. I am a bit concerned though that we're going to trigger another pack. I like the general idea of it, but we need to be careful. Let's play it safe, shall we? Moving in. Well, maybe not that safe. We could hit both with a grenade. Okay, fair enough. <coughs> Moving into full cover. I go as ordered. Okay. That was exactly what I was hoping it wouldn't happen. We could grapple up here, but there is a chance that we're going to trigger the other pack, which I really don't want to trigger. hit both of them with a flashbang somehow. No, we can only hit one. That is unfortunate. We got an extra action here. Let's first of all Give everyone critical strike chance. And take a few of the no regret moves, shall we? Advent Trooper here. That's right. And 
And... Let's maybe kill this Advent Trooper as well. Didn't work out. So we got a 50-50 here. I would like Dirk to be in full cover as well. Now, with a precision shot, that is a solid chance of actually killing him. 50-50 didn't work out here. Okay, so this here isn't working out as expected. So let's make sure everyone's well covered. <clears throat> Launching a smoke grenade. And yeah, we're going to shift over one action to Dirk here in order to get another try. Not working in our favor. We still covered. It's not as bad as it uh, initially seemed. The smoke is actually half cover. That is full cover due to the smoke being there. Okay, time to become aggressive, even though we might pull another pack. Although, hmm, let me think about it. I guess we could play it somewhat safe. Moving over here, that shouldn't trigger another pack. If it does, we can go aggressive. Oh, they moved. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Well, we'll probably need some cooldowns now. All right, get some, so everyone has a higher crit chance. And yeah. What's his normal damage? Okay, good enough. <clears throat> Might as well move up here. So we could take that over, but that's only a 30% chance. I'm just calculating the optimal move here, guys. Give me a second. The thought process is we want to get rid of the mechs first. Currently, we don't have a massive exposure to them, though. So I don't want to overreact. Let's 
we do have an option to deal with both of them. We actually do have an option to deal with this guy as well. And we're starting to kill him. That gives us hit and run, which we needed. And we're unfortunately missing the mechs. Okay, time for rapid deployment. Like I said, we're focusing on the mechs here. means we're buying us one round of time. Moving into solid cover, far enough away from the others to not matter and we can essentially start killing the mechs. So that's one down. Continue giving over actions to Dirk here. He needs to reload soon. But that should be a dead mech. Okay. One down. I like the idea of again being in full cover here, in the midst of the smoke. Uh, in the midst of the smoke. Fifty fifty on a shutdown. Even more than a fifty fifty. Yeah, we're going to take that. The reason why I'm not super afraid about his aim stats is he's going to use um, his grenades anyways. That'll be the first thing that they are usually using. Good, and instead of uh, lobbing a grenade, let's try to kill this guy. Right. Yep, there are the rockets. Who would have thought, right? Shocker. Good. Pretty nasty opposition here, to be honest. Okay, so let's give Haybringer here our A protocol. And let's continue killing the mech. Uh, so unfortunate. All right, reload. No, 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 that's a trap. That is a trap. I don't want to pull another pack. I wish we could go up here. We can't.
Well, that's some decent damage. Hmm. Damn it. We don't have any more abilities that'll boost the squad. This here could be a simple kill if we hit. Well, almost good enough. It's not going to trigger hit and run, but it's also not bad. The grenade is 100% chance to kill him. Which at least means we're not triggering the last pack. Two advent captains. Which... Let's get the loot real quick. Good to go. Just got hot in here. Hyper reactive pupils, that's good. And the scope, that's also pretty good. I'm happy that we haven't triggered the last pack. Roger that. All right, we're taking some damage, but that's okay. Only grazing shots. He's going to move back. Alright, fair enough. Is our Shinobi having Blade Storm? No, not yet. Too bad. That would have been an awesome ability right now. Good, I think it's time to become aggressive again. That'll definitely trigger the other pack. And that's the last two enemies. Oh, really? Well, you may think that you're safe, but you aren't. What I'm wondering, though, is why can't we hit this guy? All right, let's see, 50-50, it's a good one. Moving into full cover over here. Removing the cover of this guy. Hello there! Which means now that the cover is removed, that'll trigger a nice little hit and run. Okay, fair enough. Seven hit points, that should be in 
Killing distance. Oh yeah, very much is. Let's try to kill this guy. They know I'm here now. Gotcha. I have visual. Okay. Well. Unfortunate, there is another tower. We still got five more turns, by the way. Perfect timing for us to an put an evac down. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Hmm. Well, we'll let the purifier come a little bit closer, I guess. You know, perfect timing for a single shot, 50-50, we reload next turn. And we're overwatching, so in case he's moving closer, there's a real chance that he's going to die. The tower is a bit of a concern, but I think we're going to be fine. All right, moving over. Time to deal with a tower first. I think I got a piece. You'll be fine. Healing ourselves. By the way, reinforcements are going to come in. Good. We must destroy their armor. Grappling down here. That'll give us a free shot into his back and also we'll be in... Oh shit, I forgot the reload. <laughs> it was all planned out until I figured I need to reload. Boom closer. Target still standing. I must reload. There was one time where you wanted to be super smart and it didn't work out. Again, moving into full cover. Let's try to kill the purifier, shall we? Nice, thank you. All right, we're eight protocoling ourselves to not be an easy target. Tower gets one shot.
and we need to watch the timer. Pretty aggressive um, reinforcements here. Gosh, that tower is dealing quite a, an amount of damage. Okay. So let's deal with the tower first. Moving up. It did not the flesh. Perfect. We need another armor penetrating shot. Or, in this case, we're just running up and killing it directly. Good enough. Should have taken the loot as well. That was my bad. Okay, which leaves us with these clowns here. Highest priority should be the mech. Basically followed by the trooper. My question would be now nah, that uh, these odds are not good enough, but I do have an idea. Both barrels should be plenty for the mech. This here should kill the trooper. Unfortunately, only grazed it. Ready to rock. And we need to move into the direction of the target. Good. The shield bearer will use his shields. And we're going to take one shot. Gosh, that was a pretty decent shot. I'm not sure why he still has high cover. But we definitely need to kill the um, shield bearer here. Nice little critical hit. That works out well. That'll be a that'll be a one shot kill. And reinforcements, by the way, are coming in just next turn, so we gotta get our stuff together. Drop him.
All right, moving to here. Not going to take a 40% shot. We got a double move. No need to ask twice. So we can hack next turn. Overwatch. And let's see what the reinforcements are about. The last pack of reinforcements had pretty was pretty tough. And also these here, that's like 25 hit points. And a lot of armor. Gosh. Of course, we're just grazing them. That's almost best case scenario. We're, we're getting a couple of retribution attacks off. Unfortunately, none of them uh, actually hit, which is ridiculous if you think about it. Okay. Good. First things first, we need to finish this mission here. Time to hack the workstation. Oh, permanent uh, hacking set increased by 10. Hell yeah. Well, successful anime protocol. Good job. We could theoretically get some more loot, but before we're doing that, let's first of all deal with the enemies, which are going to be a pain in the rear. Grapple. To get up here. All right. We're going to reload. Whiplash, by the way, is such a great ability. Hit the mech. <laughs> oh my gosh. He is killing it. Got the hit and run. This here should be a kill. Of course not if we're just grazing, shutting them. On your order. Moving into a flanking position, but before we shoot anyone. Let's make sure Dirk here has a chance of contributing. And unfortunately, he needed to reload, so there wasn't much else we could have done. Six to eight, eight to ten. I think we're going to go over here. Oh, 
moonwalks his way right next to him and then simply slaughters uh, the Advan. Good job. Good. I'll just overwatch. I think he's going to move and not just directly takes a shot. I think we could trigger the overwatch and I think we can kill him. I was wrong. Alright, moving towards the evac uh, evacuation zone. <laughs> so good. Alright, let's try to kill the sergeant. We took more damage than expected, but in all honesty... The reinforcements were crazy this uh, time. We had like what? Overall, um, 25, 28 uh, hit points per pack. So. That was difficult, more, way more difficult than expected. There is um, a mission type, and I'm not kidding you with that one. There is a mission type in Long War uh, where the mission seems to be pretty easy. Just all of the parameters of the mission um, uh, are incredibly easy, but the reinforcements are very, very hard. And it seems that this here uh, might be it. Um, the idea of it is, quote unquote, a honeypot, where the player <clears throat> would expect to bring a weaker team, and then they find themselves completely wi uh, with their pants pulled down. Is this true? Is there another pack? All right. We're definitely getting out of here. Anyways, this might have been a honeypot uh, mission. I'm going. Wouldn't have surprised me. It looked super easy on paper. It's just an, another hacking uh, the device mission. But then the reinforcements were quite heavy from the get-go. Plus Packs of four, just from the start, don't make much sense. I mean, this here looks like a normal uh, reinforcement pack, but the ones beforehand were way, 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 way harder. out I go. what the F is wrong with you Any little kill before we go. And everybody just moves out of here. Good. Considering the circumstances and that I assume it was a honeypot mission. 
it was okay losing no of the sol uh, no soldiers but we certainly have a couple of soldiers that are now out of service there we go two promotions and yeah quite a few wounded soldiers but better than losing them right away yeah flush shot is not really good I like the steady hands for him because often he does not move and getting that extra 10 aim and 10 critical hit uh, is very synergetic with his build we're going for blade storm could have helped us a ton if we would have had it formidable is the next um, is uh, the next milestone and coincidentally enough our shinobi is the only soldier that wasn't completely torn apart so far so good we're making progress let's continue our uh, journey towards south america I might need to check. We completed our research in remarkable time. I might need to check if we can finally start recruiting in North Africa again. That is still unfortunately blocked to, due to the crackdown that we suffered. Um, but the mod doesn't really tell you when the crackdown is over. Good, Advent Robotics is an option for us. Many of uh, these would be decent options. Hmm. I would like to go for the mobile armor here. We wanted to do that next. I guess we can spend some more, and, and we'll get supplies really soon. I guess we can spend some more time, hmm, you know, thinking about it. We either go for Alarium now, which also requires um, supplies and Alarium cores, so we gotta collect some more cores for that. Um, Reminder to myself, we got we cannot sell all of the cores we need it here. We might want to go for mobile armor. It's not bad. <clears throat> yeah, let's do that right away. We're assigning a research now and then we're switching to mobile armor why the heck is the game freezing i agree that is an important task commander okay so we're getting some more supplies and with the mobile armor essentially our snipers will have the high ground deployed. advantage plus a lot of mobility i really like the grappling ability so we're not selling any more cores we are selling some corpses There we go. Good enough. So normally I I'm not selling corpses, but I really want 
uh, the mobile armor. I can see why you would consider redirecting our efforts, Commander. We'll get to work on the new project right away. Once that is done, we should have a much easier time in missions where uh, we do have a time limitation. The grappling hook, uh, you've seen it uh, with the skirmisher class, just allows you so much more flexibility and movement and it doesn't cost any action. So that in itself is definitely worth uh, worthwhile the trade-off in hit points. And since the sniper of times doesn't even really face the enemy right away, that there is no real trade-off. We got a, a corporal here. I like it. Rescue a VIP for Ranger. Hell yeah, we're going to do that. I was, I wanted to get more soldiers. Anyways, let me get a team together. Good, we got ourselves a team together. Uh, pretty much the core scout support to uh, DPS, and then we put another Ranger in here. It is what is available at the moment. But for a light opposition, I don't think that that is going to be a big of a deal. Might as well think about boosting it and bringing it down to extremely light. 7 to 9 is absolutely fine. So that's going to be another soldier in our roster. I was really hoping for some more reinforcements. Officer training. Let's see if Dragonova can do more officer training. Matter of fact, I like the incoming, but. We're going to go with uh, get some. Is there another soldier who could train at the moment? I'm not sure how training and shaken works at the same time, but I guess they work well together. Since since uh, they're uh, they have taken away the uh, limitation that you can only have one um, officer per squad, only the highest one uh, counts. But there is really no downside in having another officer. Plus negative trade removal. We can already start with that as well. So a bit of housekeeping. One thing becomes absolutely clear. We need more soldiers. Good, we got another mission here. Wiping out entire camps of resistance supporters. We're their only find a lead. Well, it's not a bad mission. Uh, the only problem that I am seeing is I'm not sure if we have enough soldiers to do it. How far is the infiltration on the other missions? So we're looking at 72%. I mean, we found it very, very early, so might as well wait a bit, do a, another mission, and then put everyone in here. Let's t uh, let's see if I can come up with a team. Yeah, unless we're going to risk that someone's being shaken, we're not uh, we're not going to do that. Let's just wait. We're almost done with the other missions, plus. 
more people will uh, become available very soon. There's one person recovering from wounds and there's another one who has recovered from wounds. So we're reading you. Perfect mental fortitude all battle madness uh, only lasts one turn, which means it will not last um, until our turn, which again negates a lot of uh, the downsides of actually having those uh, negative effects. You're just losing Overwatch. Um, that's the worst that could happen. And if we were to make contact over here, that'll be 75 Intel, and that's our next task. But before we do that, since we've just received two additional soldiers, Fortunately, clicked on uh, the uh, on the black market. The overlay is still so leggy. I don't know what it is. Anyway, so we still have seven days, eleven hours left over, and there is yet another one. Oh, that's F Fury just recovered from his wounds. Perfect. Setting course for the West African sector. So let me get a team together to do the mission. All right, we got a team together. Roby is going to be in it as well as Fury uh, and one of our best snipers, Taxman. Uh, we are putting Puppy as well as a newbie uh, support specialist and nasty for cover removal in there should be fine just right uh, right around hit the 100 percent um, infiltration and we got a nice set of weapons so i think that should be a walk in the park which yet again if we are Infiltrating four different missions. We are spread pretty thin. Also, our supplies are low. Um, I needed to buy quite a few extra items. Now, what we wanted to do next is make contact. Which means finally we're branching out to the second continent. And this time it's going to be South America. communications capacity we can't establish any new contacts until we and of course the moment that we're doing that something pops up in this case our uh, contacts are being maximized but that's not a problem because uh, the maximized contacts just make it more likely that an over um, uh, that the strategy layer will spawn an additional contact which would be awesome Ooh, nice. That is good. The question is, will we have uh, the troops to pull it off? In just a moment, Romeo uh, will be done. And that is, when, when that mission is over, we're going to go for the supply raid. Our soldiers took some hits during the most recent covert action. Word from the medical team is they'll all be fine. Perfect. We got ourselves another scientist. We're definitely wanting to reduce the Avatar project now. Now, let's give our sniper here a promotion. And we're adding wreck time onto it with her. We can't afford that anyone's being uh, that anyone's being amb um, ambushed or captured. Her equipment is fine.
his equipment not so much and we need 25 supplies in order to pull it off and there's a chance uh, that we're being ambushed so let me let me just uh, figure out a way of how to do that are you kidding me yet another mission I like the enemy material, but three days is way too li uh, little time. Moving to the black market, we need to sell some stuff and get enough. We probably need 55 um, supplies to get everyone decked out. I'll do that real quick. All right, we got everyone decked out. Uh, both of uh, them have uh, solid gear. And as you can see, we also got uh, the supplies to make sure that no one gets captured. There's still a chance for an ambush, but that's fine considering the overall benefits that we're getting. And whilst I was flying over, the next mission has popped up. So this brings us to the end of uh, this uh, episode. As always, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next run. Bye-bye.